This video is going to be an overview of this LED panel. I'm going to have to scooch down here. And I'm going to describe the sequences it goes through. It's based on LED neon. It's a Christmas lighting panel. And in a moment, you're about to see it go through its startup sequence. So it'll go off, and then these side bits will flash like fluorescent fittings lighting up. Just randomly intermittent, it'll power up, and then the stars will illuminate. It'll go through various sequences, but initially it holds them static so that you can pose for photos with it. Just uh, so, because otherwise, if you uh, try and take uh, photos with this panel at any other time, there's always just half the stars are out. Um, I'll be showing you how I built the frame. It's done in the style of Jimmy Darista. It's like really uh, high speed, just because otherwise it'd be quite long. I'll be showing you this up in close detail uh, after we've shown you the it operating. I've described what I'm going to do. There's also a video showing the making of the control system for this. Uh, which was actually published last year. It was done this style of a questions and answers while I built it. So it's a long video, um, but also um, I'll be going over the construction of this and you know how you can do it yourself ultimately. Um, but right now, you've seen it going through its uh, sequences here. Uh, let's take a look at the back and I'll show you the construction of it. So I'll just pause and we'll take a look at that. I've turned the sign off, I've turned it round so we can take a look at the construction. So let's start the power supply. I've chosen a meanwhile power supply because it's got a good reputation for being well built and safe and it's got a, it's traceable, so to speak. So this is a waterproof supply with uh, adjustable voltage. I've actually nudged it down to 11.5 volts to take the, the strain off the LED so it underruns it slightly because it's an indoor display. Uh, it puts out up to 12 volts, uh, well, it puts out more than 12 volts if you want, but it's set to 11.5, but it can handle well over 10 amps. It's rated about 150 watts. It is going up to the Department of Villainy controller, which is based on a PIC16F627A microcontroller programmed in assembly code. It's got 15 MOSFETs. Uh, each MOSFET has a PTC overcurrent device associated with it just to provide protection on all the outputs, and then it's got the terminals. They then feed out to the uh, the sections of the sign. That includes the border that's going around the, the back here, the stars, and then the actual string of lights that covers, the basically zigzags up and down, as you can see, and covers it with a, a star field. The construction of the frame is based on uh, aluminium box section, 25 by 25 millimetre, roughly inch by inch, and it uses these little knock-in plastic join pieces with uh, self tappers going through them just to secure them in place. It's just an easy way to make a frame. Across the back of that, to support the material, because it's uh, designed to be easy to build and also such that you can actually, you can change the stuff on it, because these are just basically cable tied on. It's got a uh, welded steel wire mesh with a pitch of about uh, half an inch, 12.5 millimeter. And that is screwed all the way around. It's one of the hardest bits because it comes in a roll that wants to roll up while you're doing it. But uh, that's all covered in a video where you can see, I'll provide a link down below. And it's uh, held on with self tappers and uh, large washers, this, uh, penny washers. These earth links are just basically a box ticker thing. It's, there's no possibility of a voltage difference between these two bits of metal, particularly with this metal across it, but it is just to tick the boxes because uh, lots, of, uh, lots of box tickers these days. Um, previously on these panels, I've used uh, loose uh, LED neon like this here. Uh, but actually just run in shapes and cable tied. And as long as there's a good radius on it, it actually it supports itself quite well. Uh, in this case, I used these plastic stars that were pre-shaped because it was just an easy form. Um, it just makes it much easier. Um, and that's more or less it. The, the base has a bit of reinforcing uh, metal plate uh, for rigidity. And uh, it's designed to take uh, feet that stick out. It's basically... It's got more of these, but uh, also sticking out this way so you can actually put feet on it for uh, a freestanding effect. And that is more or less it. You just plug it in and it goes. And because of the, because everything's configurable, because it is this mesh and a universal frame and a universal power supply and a universal controller, it means that after this season, these stars can all just be cut off with a few cable ties, maybe leave the light curtain in the back, uh, maybe leave the border, but then actually for next year, put a completely different fill. It means it's completely customizable from year to year. So that's pretty good. Um, and uh, I'll 
put lots of links in the uh, description down below that basically covers the making of the frame, the building of the controller and uh, other stuff like that, uh, the conversion of these stars as well. So um, that's that. Um, look at the links down below and you'll find the other videos associated with the construction of this panel.